Yo, what is up, everyone? Here's my hope. My hope is that I have the 1440p 60 frames per second dialed. My hope is that this looks super crispy and that looks really clean. Is it dialed? Does it look good? Does it sound good? I adjusted so many settings and like spent so much time on this yesterday. So my hope and my prayer is that it's locked. How are we looking? We got Micah, we got Diva, we got Jaden, we got Paladin, we got, yeah, that. <laughs> Is it looking clean? Posted something on, you know, let's do Do Not Disturb so that it doesn't go crazy on me. Let me know. Oh, do I get, the, is, it, is the game audio going right now in here? It totally is. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll unplug that. But then if I unplug it, it might, it's just, yeah, what are you doing? Boom, no game audio. Good, we're good, we should be good, it's fine. Oh, it's loud. We're gonna be uh, getting some knee no kuni today. I never kicked over the <laughs> uh, crispy bro looks and sounds good awesome awesome oh my gosh I tried so many different ways to get this going right and it dude it was a nightmare it was a complete nightmare but it looks like we're, we're, we're doing we're doing well now we're doing I'm gonna actually try to check it out to see what it looks like so you might get a little double here. Let me take a look, ski poo. You know, that does look, uh, looks okay. All right. HD, 1440. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look perfect. I don't, I still don't know why I'm getting artifacting in the black. But, you know, whatever. We'll figure it. We'll figure it out. Are you using any LUTs on your camera in OBS or not? Yeah, I am. I am. Maybe that's what's doing it. But the black, the black in the background gets kind of fuzzy. It's fine. You know what? It's fun. We're here to hang out. Good morning, Diz uh, Zima. Zima? Hope all is well. All is great. I'm drinking my MCT oil coffee this morning. I've already had so much uh, water. I had almost um, encoding overloaded. Are you guys getting... It doesn't look like we have any dropped frames. It's looking good, right? Consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding preset. Looks good though, right? Over on your end. Again, I'm just trying to figure this all out. Looks good. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. Buenos dias. Hey, Wampa. Hey, Justin. Sick, dude. You guys are all turning up. Sick. Guys, great news. On the last stream, we got almost 80 hours. Keep watching it from time to time. We're trying to get to monetization to get YouTube to pay me. That's the goal, is to make YouTube give me the dollar bills and make YouTube shell out some of that Google money so that we can buy some groceries in this house, right? So we play video games. Ooh, I don't know. And so today, my my goal is to just get everyone in here hanging out. We're going to be getting into Nino Kuni 1 again because it was such a joy to play last time. But as always, we hang out for a little bit, get our morning going, get a first couple sips. Cheers to you. Mm. I really enjoy my MCT oil coffee in the morning. It's kind of like that trendy bulletproof coffee. It's similar. It's a similar idea. How many burgers does Google 
money may net right now zero burgers from here this channel is getting me zero burgers but the goal is to start pumping out some shorts and get this thing you know kind of doing it's doing its thing and get this up to you know up to standard may my my goal is by may 1st by april 30th so it's 26 days we'll have made it to monetization monetized by may and um we'll see you know because this is just a streaming channel so all videos are going to be stream stream stuff different stuff like that maybe some reactions but like this is this is my efforts to be streaming right julian melnick 2 is the name of the channel no other names jd coffee was actually screwing up the algorithm so julian melnick 2 is what we're going to be calling it today no, and and i mean not just today it's it's that's the name <laughs> but once we get monetized i'm hoping that monet that that we'll be able to get some burgers maybe turn down the music there we go that should be good turn up me too all right all right we should be good there shiny julian melnick too yeah there it is baby since you're not monetized yet, I figured I'd bless someone in the community. First person to claim it gets $20 Steam. Oh, there it is. There it is, Michael Bargo. Look at that. Love it, dude. I love this. This is what it is. I do... Here, let me... Also, okay, so who here? who here is an Akira Toriyama fan? I'm a newer Akira Toriyama fan, but there's my little shrine over there with my Dragon Balls and all this stuff. But who here is an Akira Toriyama fan? Who do we have? Anyone? Burger stream in the future? I'll make a burger. <laughs> when I get monetized, I'll eat my In-N-Out burger here live. Ugh, first thing in the morning. Newer Akira fan? All right, newer Akira fan. We're all Akira fans, right? Akira Toriyama. So Akira put out a um, a a comic. It's a it's a one a one booker, right? That's fourteen chapters. Fourteen? Let me check. I think it's fourteen chapters. Fourteen, including the final. Okay, so fourteen, yeah, fourteen chapters of a this Sandland. We played the demo of it over on uh, Julian Melnick Main. Okay, Sandland. This is what the game is based off of. This is coming out here in a little bit. And when it comes out, I will be streaming it on Steam Deck. I bought the manga. Just one. That's it. This is the whole thing. Just one. But I started reading it yesterday. It's going to be a fun one. But, like, look at the... Look at this, dude. Some fun stuff. Very familiar. Very familiar. I'm really excited, though. This, has been, this was a good read yesterday. Super good read. I only want to see that early morning in and out animal style. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Once it, once this place gets monetized. Here's a cool thing though about the way that we're gonna do things here. So check it out. I have decided that with the streaming stuff, my goal always is to make stuff work. Right. I want this to be successful. I'd love to be able to rub elbows, bump shoulders with some of the big boys. I'd love to meet Tim. I'd love to meet Doc. I'd love to meet those guys. And be you know in that space with them now i don't play games like they do lord knows i've tried and maybe one day we'll get back to it but right now that's not what it is we're you know multi whatever multi streamer which isn't necessarily the best way to grow but whatever um and i'll answer that in a second uh sima 12 yeah i can call you d if that works i'll answer that in a second d um and have you watched the anime? There's an anime of Sandland? I haven't. No, I just I just heard about it. I think I'm gonna have to take it from my coffee bar. Anyway, my goal is to be, you know, I want to be in the same realm as those guys. But D Sima. Oh. D Sima? That works too. It's gonna be D. Um, but here's the deal. I'm uh, I'm not going to be doing the dance monkey stuff that you see in a lot of streamers. Hey, you know, like I'm not going to fight with my chat. Okay. That's so um, 
I will do some silly things, but I don't, I'm not going to fight with chat. You guys are a part of this. Not, you know, not in control. <laughs> Pop is in control. Um, so that's that's something I decided early on because some people like they, they like fighting with their chat and their chat being against them. And that's kind of their shtick. It's not it. No hot tub, dude. Dude, absolutely hot tub. You kidding me? We'll get a hot tub stream in here eventually. Dude, what if I went to like Home Depot and just sat in a hot tub? That'd be funny. But I'm not I'm not going to do one of them stupid IRL things either. My nose is so itchy all the time because of this darn mustache. But that mustache ain't going away because it's too good. Got a good stash going now. So there's a there's wait, hold on. There's a comic. I mean, there's a there's a manga for Sandland. Not manga. Of course, there's a manga. I'm looking at it. There's an anime for Sandland. Sandland anime nine episodes is on Hulu. Really? Did it just come out? No way. Sandland. So, you, why is it a hundred and fifty dollars? Oh, it's because it's like an original edition. So the game, if we're looking, if we get caught looking. The game releases, I already played the demo, April 25th. Okay, so this month, ladies and gentlemen, this month, it's a Windows release. Is this a multi-plat release? Is Sandland going to be a multi-plat release? Hold on. Let me see if I have my... Not this screen. Is it this screen? Yeah. So we'll do this. We'll bring this over. We'll bring this over. We'll go like right here. And then we'll bring this up so that I know how much I can see. Okay, cool. So we have this is I'm dude, this is it. PS5 Xbox. Okay, so it's a multi. I'm I'm really looking forward to this. I'm gonna be playing it right. I'm gonna get the deluxe. I'm gonna pre I'm actually gonna pre-purchase the deluxe edition. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a good one. I'm like, I played the demo and I genuinely enjoyed it. I thought it was a good time. It's gonna be a little interesting. Hold on, let me clear my, uh... that sounded awful. That was basically breakfast. I'm gonna make sure I'm not getting double sound here. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be real good. Ooh, look at the big... So, uh, Sandland, now you're telling me... You're telling me that we have a anime? Released in 2023. Wow. You're right. Check the code. Not sure if you've seen Sandy Penguin fighting with the chat. Reminded me of a very PG way. He plays a lot of old Pokemon games. Yeah, it's so I'll explain to you why I feel this way. I'm looking right now. I'm looking at Sandland Anime Hulu. Let's take a look. There it is. Hey. There it is. So, if you're part of the, uh, you put a Steam code in the chat? This chat? Or in chat on, uh, the dad over on the Discord, the very, very private Discord. Oh, so, heads up, guys. Um, nah, just, oh, never mind. We'll talk about it in a second. Oh, 2024 release. Okay. I think that I'm going to first read this because I do books first. 
And then after I'm done reading this, we'll, I'm going to go and do the, yeah. Where is the steam code for people to look up? You know what I'm going to do also is let's do this. Uh, anyway, so I'm, yeah, I'm very, very much so excited for this game. It looks sick. Uh, I want to get some people who are into anime manga to watch this with me. So what we're going to do is we'll do a watch party. We'll all sign into our Hulu account and press the space bar at the same time. But we'll, we'll do a watch party sometime this weekend. Make sure you're part of the Discord. Discord is a private Discord. You have to be a member of the main channel, Julian Melnick, as for now. Once this channel is monetized, you can also grant get access to that by becoming a member of this channel. But we're going to have to wait for that. So as it stands now, you have to be a member of the other channel. It's going to be access to both. And if you want to double down, you can be a member of both. Then you're like super crazy good. Um, but when I am going to... I'll do this because I know that... I forgot that Stream Elements has like a code not code but like i can put a um they have like a a page for a tip i believe i have notifications here too so if someone becomes a subscriber can someone unsubscribe and resubscribe to see if it shows up i updated that yesterday i don't even have it created yet no donos today, guys. No donos today. It'll be my first watch. Oh, nice. I don't know why YouTubers don't do more movie watch-ins. I think it's a great idea. I lost my job at the bank yesterday. Another woman asked me to check her balance, so I pushed her <laughs> <laughs> so dumb that's so dumb dude i love it that is so <laughs> that oh wow sorry that one really got me holy smokes dude that is one of the if not the dumbest ones i've heard so far but that i like that one a lot Oh, sweet. Oh, stupid. Hold on, hold on. Let me do this. Let me go ahead and... Oh, sweet. It works. Cool. It works. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Brock? Dude, what's up? I didn't like... There we go. There we go. Awesome. Okay, cool. Saved. Great. I have a t I have one. I don't know if it's going to show up though, but uh, JDX Coffee. I'm still J. That's the thing. It's JDX JD Coffee is still the screen name stuff. Thank you for bearing with me as I um as I get some of this going. Okay, we should be good now. Saved. Awesome. So let me see what happens if I refresh. 
awesome awesome all right guys i don't know if this is gonna work but until i have don't know uh, until i have stuff here is a stream element tip thing if that's something you're into um and i think i get all of it which is kind of cool but i don't know if it's gonna work i don't know if it's gonna show that it, it don't know it should tip here there we go cool everything's good everything's good Whew. that was a lot of work but we're, we're set now let me know if it pulls if it properly pulls up i don't know if there's going to be a notification right here though because i i'm still learning how to set everything up <laughs> okay so someone asked something earlier and i totally didn't answer it and i apologize let me go back real quick oh devo thank you it does sick thanks for tipping four five six my Donations are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then leap. Or other. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Because I am a child. <laughs> what they had there was so dumb. They had 333, 420, 690. Like, come on, dude. Be better. Be better um okay let me look thank you so much for the uh dono dude that that oh four or five you know what that's enough to buy some ground beef hey papa's having burgers papa's having burgers um let me look someone did ask a question ask a question uh, I have a joke. No, Hulu. <clears throat> a lot? No. Sorry. If you have a question, re ask it. <sighs> Finally, longest five minute wait. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm glad it works, though. Your take on physical versus digital. That's it. Thank you. The unsub resub took me off chat for five minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for doing that for me, though. It works. Everything works. Okay, we're good. Same for me. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Don't unsub resub. I forgot I'm on. Uh, I'm on subscriber only chat because I don't want to deal with the bots. Um, okay. So thoughts on physical versus digital from D. Okay. So I am a pretty hardcore physical physical media guy physical media okay that's the thing physical media it's important to me because of ownership i believe that right now we are dealing with a really interesting ownership issue what is going on here dude and physical media is uh is is starting to see that dissipate a little bit more and more and more I mean, the first biggest shift we had in physical versus digital, the biggest one was back in the 2000s with music, right? We went from CDs, you know, every, every iteration of this moves, right? From records to, I think, 8-tracks was next. And then from 8-tracks to cassette tapes, cassette tapes to, I think, Betamax. No, I think that's a video format. But maybe it's not. I mean, from cassettes to CDs, CDs, and even a crazy laser disc, all this stuff, right? So we have a bunch of different things. But media, the digitized, fully digital media started back in 2000. The big one, the big push. And this was an interesting shift because it introduced some pretty convenient things like bring your music wherever you want. And then they introduced the iPod, right? This is not an iPod, obviously. It's an iPhone, but the iPod and then the Zune. And if you used a Zune, hey, good for you. Thank you for your service. <laughs> but the correct answer was iPod. <laughs> okay. But MP3 players, nonetheless. 
and stuff like digital music was the digital libraries was like huge you know with the introduction of also pirating music with napster and limewire and all these different um i think those were p ftp f ftp servers i think that's what it was ftp am i right whatever that's all it was it was just a host and then to someone else there were a lot of ftp sites out there back in the day p2p peer-to-peer -peer. okay p2p happy to catch the stream on a snowy sleety mass morning cheers brother mm. salute chris okay so p2p so we had this big influx of this idea of i can have libraries icp <laughs> oh god no juggaloos here okay <laughs> <laughs> um and whatever so we start getting this idea we want more 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 right and you started to have the convenience at your fingertips and then of course with pirated music you started to have discographies well their big big sh shift to that was like well we have to get on top of this somehow we have to figure out a way to combat pirated music which is still here to you can still do it right we need to figure out how to do this people are getting cds you know and i did i mean i did the thing where i'd take the cds i would take the music off i would make my own cds for my buddies not my cds right i would do this back in the 2000s right this was how we did it we made mixed cds whatever well then video games well the next one was movies movies started doing this right they they introduced a subscription service and they did their thing and movies started to do this we see we see we saw you know blockbuster or hollywood video wherever you lived you had your own or your local you know video store started doing something similar they started to phase stuff out okay you like cds cds nuts oh god this guy dude this guy oh man you got me that's funny um so we started to see this happen this is a big deal okay we started to see the shift from going in getting stuff at at the place and now we have this digital option we can just get it digitally so first we started seeing it shipped to home with uh netflix there was another one that existed but blockbuster even did it where they ship it to home right with dvds or blu-rays for that matter okay and that started to happen now back in the day we had rentals you could rent video games we're not there yet we're not the video game part but we started to see movies go down this route netflix came out there were a couple other ones competing but netflix was kind of the big one and blockbuster was like no and they didn't and then now we know i think the only but last only blockbusters in oregon i think it's in bend oregon i could be wrong but last blockbuster and mark my words, when I have a coffee shop, I will I will be the first to bring back that idea. I want rentals to be a thing again. I know it's wildly unnecessary, but when I open my coffee shop, a huge portion of my red box, that's another one, a huge portion of my coffee shops, like big, huge seating area is going to be a physical media rental place where you can rent things. I'm probably going to have to deal with a lot of loss, but still, that's neither here nor there. Gone. And last, the last frontier was video games. Now, PC, the PC market used to have physical media. Okay? Physical media. Now, they got rid of it. I know it's a really long-winded thing, but just bear with me. And as stuff started to shift, PC is like, we don't have it anymore. And we're seeing less and less of it. In fact, PCs stopped putting in disk drives. So where your PC before used to be a full entertainment device, right? I remember my iMac or whatever, it was huge. The eMac, actually, when that came out, I, um, geared towards educators. Now I'm a, I'm a Mac guy, so that's something to take into consideration. It touted that it had a DVD drive with a DVD writer. Holy smokes, I can write? on dvds it's a big deal now computers don't have disk drives because the necessity for a disk drive is really low we don't have physical media anymore okay and so that is shifted away we have digital media 
digital, digital, digital. And some would argue that digital media is better in some ways. And I would say that yes, the technical quality of digital media, audio wise, you're going to have a purer, a more pure thing because you can have all of the data. But I use one of the more basic and archaic ways of listening to music. And I do like it because the connection that I can get with the music that way. But we're st we see the final frontier, which is video games to go into the digital direction with subscription services and all these different things, right? And so when you ask the question, what are your thoughts on physical versus digital? I have started to go back and try to get in touch with the physical side of things. Because the problem that was introduced when you first started with MP3s and all the things moving forward is we started to see a shift from ownership to rental ship, right? Sure, you have a copy of the license, but if for some reason you lose your library, you're in trouble. You have nowhere to locate that thing again. It's gone forever. It's no longer a backup in digital form. It is a final form. And it's tough to keep track of stuff that's in the ether, right? Sure, it's there, but if for some reason it's gone, it's gone forever, okay? Now, I totally also, you scratch a record, it's going to have a skip in it all the time. You can't fix that. And so that was a huge thing that started to shift. And for me, I don't like that. And as I get older, I really don't like that. And this is what ended up happening. We started to have more and more people get these subscription services. It's no longer digital purchases, if you notice. You don't even own a digital license. You just own the subscription because why would you spend $15 on a digital album when you can spend 15 bucks a month and have everyone's digital al album, right? Crazy, crazy, right? And so you don't own anything. You just pay for a subscription service. Well, if you start to add up all your subscription services, this is a good thought experiment for you. Maybe you guys go home and do this today, whatever. Add up everyone, all of them, uh, even if it seems like it's irrelevant all media subscription services, you're gonna find out very quickly, if you're anything like me, maybe you're not, maybe you're more responsible than I am, but you're gonna find out very quickly, you're like, I don't do cable because it's all garbage, right? Every single one of these subscription services started at a very affordable price, five, eight, ten dollars a month sure inflation whatever you can name it whatever you want but inflation is happening in the united states it doesn't account for the prices that are happening in europe or whatever it may be okay sure inflation's everywhere but still bear with me for a second you start to see the necessity not necessity that people are relying on these services netflix hulu whatever it may be this is the only way i can get my stuff because it's not available anywhere else i can only watch all of my stuff on Disney. I can't watch any of my Star Wars elsewhere. They're only releasing Bad Batch on Disney. I have to watch Disney, okay? I can't watch, you know, they don't have physical releases of these shows yet, okay? I get it, I get it. Now, I'm just using an example because I don't watch Bad Batch because I just can't get into it. I'm actually kind of like burnt out on Star Wars stuff. And then they go, well, we got them. Let's raise the price. And we have seen in the past five years I would go as far as two more price hikes in all of these services in the past couple of years than the whole lifespan of the service itself. Listen to me for a second. We've seen more price hikes in the past few years than the whole service itself has. It seems like every six months to a year, we have seen a new price hike and we all left cable because we were sick of the commercials. All of these streaming services now, their basic price, which was the all included price back in the day, is now severely riddled with commercials. And in order to get the non commercial version, we're seeing upwards of 20, 30 even dollars at some times. And this is the problem that I have with these services now. You start to add up all the services together and you're looking at hundreds of dollars a month. And from there you add that yearly and we're looking at 2 to 3000 dollars a month. You know what 3000 dollars not a month, a year. You know what 3000 dollars a year looks like? That looks like 100 movies. 
Are you watching 100 movies in a year? No. That looks like 200 200 albums CDs I guess technically albums would probably be upwards of maybe 100 that looks like 50 video games it's an animated video reminiscent of Metalocalypse speaking of Star Wars check out Childhood Died by okay and Metalocalypse dude I loved that show that was a funny show 2020 to 2022 opened up a big market. It didn't open up. I, Dean, it, it, it's not that it opened up a big market. What it did was it trapped subscribers. The scummiest thing, one of the scummiest things that we see out there is that Uber Eats, um, all of them, DoorDash, all of those were the saving grace of 2020 through 2022 when fear was at the height of everything. Okay without getting too specific, we all know. When the silliness was at its maximum, okay? And people, they weren't exiting their premises. You know what happened at the end of 2021 to 2022? They added 15 to 20% price hikes on every single item. People have relied on these services and now they're stuck relying on them. And because of that, we see huge price hikes. They took advantage of the environment. Yeah, Dean, they absolutely did. And so for me, the best way I can combat this, the best way I can kind of, you know, stick it to them is by going, I am no longer participating in this all digital type of solution to the best of my ability, right? It's the very reason I got rid of all my subscription services. And instead of spending upwards of $150 to $200 a month, maybe more in my subscription services, I've decided that each month I'm going to take that, look at it as a budget and go, what movie can I buy today? Does it support the studios? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I really don't. But if I'm being honest with you, I'm not sitting down to watch three or four movies every week, which is the price of everything, right? So you want to see what movie I bought last month? Blu-ray, baby. You know what I'm buying this month? Papa's buying Spirited Away. That's right, baby. I'm buying a Spirited Away. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going physical. With Nintendo, it is a 100% physical purchase only. With PlayStation, it is a not so rigid thing because unfortunately for PlayStation, I don't use it as much. And with Steam Deck and with um, PC, the availability of physical isn't there anymore. But because of the way that they manage their digital purchases, I am far more comfortable with purchasing on there. And so this is what it comes down to with physical versus digital. When it comes to playing video games specifically on like uh, excuse me, on uh, PC, I am far more comfortable with the digital purchasing on PC than I am with the digital purchases on PlayStation or on Xbox for multiple reasons. One, PlayStation and Xbox, it is so unbelievably tied to that system and there's no taking it anywhere. At least with Steam, there are hundreds if not thousands of devices you can pull it to. So that's nice. Um, and if all... When all digital really hits the market, because we're there, we're there. PlayStation with their all digital machine, Xbox releasing a Series X with its all digital machine. All digital is the way that we're going to see it happen, whether you like it or not. I don't know who said it, but they said if they go all digital, I'm going PC. That's exactly how I feel. If I'm going to be forced into all digital, I'm going to go to the place that has the best digital management. That's play, that's that's PC. I will not st I will not deal with an all digital gaming thing on console there's no way there's no way it defeats the purpose for me 
So that's that's my gig on digital versus physical, and you guys are gonna have to hear it all again because I'm gonna make a cup about it because that was such a great conversation that I feel like I just had with you guys. That's a really awesome, I've talked about it before, but I think it's time for a check-in. That was great. Thank you for letting me go on a rant about physical versus digital. So what, what's, my, what's my suggestion for you guys? My suggestion for you guys is real simple. When possible, go physical. Because when it all, when it all hits the fan, you want to be able to hold on to the things that you enjoy, right? Things don't matter though, right? We don't need things. You don't bring them with you when you die. You get up to heaven and it's just like, yo, what's up, God? And he's like, hey, uh, we're kind of like a no bag kind of person, right? And you just kind of show up, come as you are, you know what I mean? But that's it. If Phil Spencer brings Steam to Xbox, that would be huge. I don't think so. I don't think so. Why would I want, <clears throat> why would I want to play my Steam games on an Xbox if I have a PC? You know? Think about it for a second. Like, the Steam to Xbox thing is like a big thing people are talking about. They're like, oh my gosh, Steam to Xbox. Who is Steam's target demographic though? PC users. You're not buying Steam games unless you have at least a Steam Deck. Or a PC. Why would you buy an Xbox to play your Steam games? It doesn't make sense. It's five hundred dollars you can spend on like a processor. For those of us who just have a deck and other consoles, maybe. But then why wouldn't you just play it on the deck, right? You know what I mean? Like I can see that maybe. I could see that. Game Pass to multiple platforms would be nice. I would, that's, so that's the way, I think it would be far more valuable to see Game Pass on a Steam Deck than, than to see Steam on an Xbox. This Steam to Xbox talk has been going on for about seven years. Oh yeah, dude, I, I don't know. It, it, to me, it doesn't matter because I don't have an Xbox anymore. I sold it because it was a very redundant thing in my gaming library life. I sold it with a really awesome um, X screen, like bag and everything, the whole setup. I sold it off. Because I was like, hey, I want this to go to somebody who's going to use it. And someone bought it and I sold it for a great price. <laughs> it was like that $250 screen with the Xbox and the case and all that stuff. I sold it for $400. It's carbon. Series S carbon. Great deal for them. Right? And so they got it, they got it, they got a pretty good deal. But I just don't use it. I am the only console I use is PlayStation if I'm using console. I guess Nintendo, if you consider that still part of the console race. I don't really, it's so old, you know? It's so old, <laughs> but that's, yeah. <clears throat> game Pass to multiple platforms would be nice. That's really what I'm looking for. I wanna see Game Pass on multiple platforms. Now, do I use Game Pass? No, because I don't use subscription services anymore because subscription services are ruining ownership. And also I think, I feel like subscription services are the reason why we're seeing such diluted games. I do, I strongly believe that. Now I don't think that subscription services are going away and there are a lot of arguments that go in for it. I mean, I wouldn't have played half the games I played if it wasn't for subscription services, I get it. But here's the deal. I see the subscription service, I'm more inclined to see something like PS Plus back in the day where they gave you a game and then you also got discounts. You're buying a discount. I like that. But still, I'd much rather see that subscription services go away so it stops diluting the games. I 100% believe that subscription services are the reason why games are becoming so incomplete. Because they're like, ah, oh, we'll just patch it. They're not paying for it to begin with. That's why we're seeing what we're seeing. Whoa. Wait, this, there we go. You just can't see it. I think Xbox enters the handheld market soon. Personally hope it's great. I'm sure they'll money grab and do LCD first with OLED later, maybe. I don't know, dude. OLED's kind of set the standard for what it all is supposed to look like. So, 
The handheld PC market is starting, so they're already in the market. Just trying to keep these on my head for a second. And now the time for Microsoft to launch there. Yeah, I, I think that, um, there we go. Wait, is this the right side? Just trying to get it behind the, there, that's nice. Uh, what, what, so when it comes to the, when it comes to the handheld PC market, if I'm being real, dude, like I, they just won't launch their own for a while. I wonder why Steam never went the subscription route. Seems like they have the power to do so. Good looking Steam. Because I I don't know. They they're just a they're just a browser, right? Not a browser, they're just a um a client. Like a, a, a app client. Not app client. Yeah, kinda. This whole white dude's thinking. Huh? White dudes? What are you talking about? I just want a game. I don't understand what is it, am I missing? Is there is is something? Are you talking about like actually white people? Cause that's it that doesn't make any sense. Ridiculous. Are you talking about like there's something called like white dudes? I don't know internet speak. So unless that is if that is actually you saying white dudes like me, like a white dude, uh, then the Xbox marketing manager tweeted about raise your hand if you are not white and play games. Oh dude, I don't even I don't even pay attention to that kind of stuff because the whole like race thing and gender thing all that nonsense and debacle is such crazy, insane steps back in human progression. I mean, we're trying so hard to be super, super racist again. Like everyone's trying so hard to be racist with like, I mean, you want to hear one of the most racist things that I, I think I've heard in a long time? When I started to look at it and realize that people who are different colors get their own awards best black actor that's so ridiculous why doesn't why don't we just have one best actor the whole like best black film best white like that's so why why are we not just saying best film why can't people just have the best film why do we have to give people their own awards tyler the creator talks at length about this i really liked his take on it he's like I don't want to be when the second they give me a award, they're like, oh, the best, you know, whatever. He's like, why can't I just be the best artist? Why do I have to be the best urban artist? This is ridiculous. That's the thing. I thought that was such a hot, uh, such a in insane thing. Tyler, the creator has a lot of crazy things he says, but one of that was one thing that was like that's such a powerful statement like dude i hate it i hate it i really do i hate that we people who are people people of color people whatever they they're like oh you get an award because you're the best that's this version of a human it's like what we're all why can't that person just get the best actor award why do they have to be the best urban actor? That's ridiculous. I hate it, dude. I, I just... Any way that... That's what it is. Any way we can just compartmentalize people. We're just going to make people. They get to only be the best version of what they're born as. That's it. They can't be the best version of humans. It's stupid. It's stupid. And so, whatever the Xbox guy said, I don't care. It's dumb. It's so dumb. We're all the same we're all humans <clears throat> so ridiculous just be the best version of yourself dude gaming subscriptions and dlcs have encouraged incomplete games at release yeah dude yep 
People like saying silly things if it makes them look more empathetic. So dumb. Have you ever seen Blazing Saddles? Yep. Oh yeah, that movie is really funny. Life service in the wor is the worst, dude. Life service is is well. Depends though, dude, because live service games are pretty self-aware. Honestly, like Fortnite, they know what they're doing. They're not trying to trick anybody. Blazing Saddles is one of my favorite Mel Brooks films. My actual favorite Mel Brooks film is one that I feel like is more of a like underrated film. My favorite Mel Brooks film is History of the World Part 1. That's my favorite one. And people are like, I, I don't know if I've ever seen that movie. That's my favorite. It's so good. Best comedy movie of all time. Oh, man. That's a really tough one. Um... I think the best comedy movie of all time is probably Anchorman, if I'm being honest. It's good to be king. <laughs> there it is, dude. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's a, that, dude. That's that's it. That's it. Sir, you get it. This is the child who will save the world. Whew. You guys ready to get in here? Enough. Also encourages developers to not create more. Epic makes one game, but makes it sucks in terms of creativity. Okay, I see what you're saying, Dean, but here's the thing. Here's the here's the thing I think about it. Epic, sure, they got a lot of resources, they can make other games. Okay. I'll get it. I get it. But hey, other developers need to pick up I mean other places just pick up the slack and just do the better game right i don't mind live service games if they're supported i don't mind it if the game's not doing well I totally i totally sit I, I solely totally sit with you on that one but fortnite i think is a, i love i love fortnite got a little stale for me but do this. That's only because I overdid it. Okay, let's attack. I want to see. Oh. Okay, I need to figure. I need to figure out. I don't. I'm not sure. I understand. Can I? S okay, so I, I, I took that out. I just. Grandma's boy. All the yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Every developer is going that route. Before you know it, we'll have left is live, sir. Oh yeah, I'm not knocking the games themselves, but what it promotes. Fortnite is fun, but they tend to ruin the basic gameplay with all the OP mythics. Seems to come out every two weeks now. Well, that's the TikTok mindset, you know. It's just can't, can't. Yeah, that's the, that's the TikTok mindset. Oh, there's something. Here's my world. You can change your viewpoint. Having trouble? Controls go to setting. Really? Okay, so this is just. Yeah, I know you can change your viewpoint, of course. But, like, what? Difficulty, music, camera up, down, yeah, camera left, right, and yeah. guiding star. Mini map, subtitles, vibration. Yeah, we're good, dude. We're good. We're good. I know. Oh, you're just talking about this? Is that what you're talking about? Let's, let's head into the ding dong dell, baby. Uh, uh, 
This game looks so rad. Like a classic case of broken heartedness. Broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and uh, useless, they do. So his heart was broken uh, by. Keep up, will you? Shadar, isn't it? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, at Rockstar, we never imagined our DR would become so huge online that it basically but became its own thing. Oh, yeah. We can't get into Ding Dong Dell. Fortnite is. F oh, you read that. Doing what? Well. Is there a devastating lightning bolt that can shoot through mountains? Try to survive now. What? Bungie actively tries to keep Destiny off the Steam Deck. It's lame. My problem with live service is some of these companies are still asking for 70 bucks up front for their incomplete game. That's my problem with a lot of the gaming industry. That's why you find me playing a lot of games that have come out years ago. Because they're complete now. I will say the last few games that I consider to be my favorites are Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, complete game. Final Fantasy XVI, complete game. Tears of the Kingdom, complete game. Like These are the games that I really enjoyed. Mario Wonder, complete game. Like These are all games that came out in the past year incredible games incredible never felt like there was incomplete sure there was a couple adjustments here they had to make for the graphics a couple like just to smooth it over but it wasn't bad it wasn't bad at all right what other games came out i mean even back when the first launch ratchet and clank complete game right these games really really good really good super solid complete games can't say that for some of the other i feel like the games that really have the hardest times are ones that are trying to feed into some of the, uh, how you say, <laughs> ideologies for Spoken. What a mess, right? Like, these games, incomplete. Real issues. Because they're pushing so hard to be the spokesperson to something where they're way more focused on that than they are about the game itself. Another problem with is paying seventy for a game uh, and not being cross platform or cross play. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how much of that I care about. Sure, I want to play with all my friends, but um, guys, I am getting Helldivers two because I've been watching a lot of gameplay and I really like it. So let's save the world eventually. Sound good? Old man who's got just what we need. Proper useful I am, eh? An old man? What do you mean? What old man? The old man, isn't it? Lives in a wood to the north of here. Proper deep. Deeply dark it is. That's why they call it deep dark wood. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, deep dark. All right, let's go. Let's go to deep dark wood. Are the servers fixed? Another problem is paying... Oh, you read that. Okay. I can't believe I'm getting 120 frames on the. I mean, I. I can. It's an older game, but it's just so cool. Coming in, coming in hot. He got me. He got me. Oh. Let's What's, go. Run. Uh, attack. <sighs> Two hits. <sighs> Ding dong del docked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, servers are great now. I play on my PS5 and friends on PC and have no issues. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? On Star Wars or... No, Helldivers is an exception for a great live service game. It's refreshing. There's not much to it. It's a pretty simple game. Okay. Good morning, man. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Gary. Let's go. You missed. Oh, you didn't miss. Nice. 
I really like the battle system here. Hey, Wampa, what's that called, the shading I'm seeing right now in him? They use the same technique for uh, Tears of the Kingdom. What am I viewing? Keep in mind, devs are also influenced by their publishers, too. $70 is the standard, but we need more ad content monthly, etc. for X amount of dollars, yeah. Wait to get magic. This feels like a Nintendo game. Cell shading, that's what it is. Love it. It's such a, it's such a, like, unbelievably great decision because it ate, it allows the game to age. This game is going to age so well. Oh, it has. This is a PS3 game that they remastered because the cell shading is so stylized. It's gorgeous. And that's how Tears of the Kingdom is going to just crash. The main reason why Wind Waker looks so... It's, dude, cell shading is the reason why these games are going to like last forever. This overworld's a little bit empty, but... You missed. I'll get you. Boom. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't sneak up on you. First appeared popularized by Wind Waker. Dude, Wind Waker... I can't wait till that's available for me to play. Oh, I'm doing low. Come on, Oliver. Get it. Do, do, do. Emulated on deck. Looks crazy on the OLED. Try the Stellar Blade demo. Pretty dark. I'm not into those hack and slashers. That's not really my cup of coffee. Hey, how's the game looking? Is it clean? It's very laggy on my... O on my OBS. But is it coming in clean for you guys? Or is it like stuttering? It feels like it's stuttering for me. Seems solid. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat some bread. Mega bright. Dark oh, Dark Cloud 2 is so good. I love Dark Cloud, an old Let's school go. PS2 game. Rhinosaur. Oh, roly poly. Oh, he still got me though. One more hit. Yeah, Stellar Blade, watch some, uh, w watch some funny videos on it by some creators I watch, and I, I get it, right? I get it. Everyone's looking real good in that game, but it's just not for me. Like, the furthest I go with those is, like, Devil May Cry, and even Devil May Cry wasn't really my favorite. How far, oops. How far away is this? This wood. Oh, wow, it's pretty far. So I have to go this way, it seems, right? Up and through. Yep. It's up here. Don't forget, instead of running, you we choose block. This. Really? Oh, so I can... So that's just deep. It's the same. How can you block in this game? Do as much grinding as you can. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. That's good to know. What I should do is I should play main storylines on stream and grind off stream. Oh, by the way, guys, um, the the way that I'm gonna go about streaming is um, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. That's my that's my go-to. Yeah, Jet Set was 2000 while Wind Waker, we were 2002. Oh, okay. I took less damage. Okay. Good to know. 
Ooh, yummy pie. I think I have to go up this way. I had to drop this game because of its grinding. Really? I don't mind grinding. Especially on something like a Steam Deck, because I can just sit, grind, you know, whatever. Uh, boss battles for s streaming too. They're epic. Okay. Level up, baby. Oh, man. I just love it. Sound. Right. Woo. Well, the thing, with, the thing with grinding on a game like this... Uh, let's go ahead and get you. Is when you, you can grind and chat, we can chat. You start looking in the PC yet? Come on. Yeah. Um, did I start looking at PC? Yeah. But as it stands, um, I just as of April first of this year, so like in the past, uh. Like, it's four days now. I am four days. This is it. YouTube is all I have. So I had one client that was paying me a pretty good amount. No more. That contract ended. So I no longer have the resources to build a PC. I've been really wanting to, but I have to rely on this. So building a PC has been pushed out. I still want to, but I need to come up with, to build the, the, the PC that I want to build, it's about 1700 bucks. So I have priorities. The first thing is to get this place monetized. Get the subscriber count to 1,000. Get 4,000 watch hours. That's like a big thing. And then the next thing is to increase my uh, membership revenues to what was 1,500. Now I need 2,000. And then $1,700 over to <laughs> uh, a computer. Or partner with a company to do it. I've been streaming on here? This or today? Because today I've been streaming for an hour, it seems. No? I start at 5.30. So we're at an hour and 12 minutes. Once you start beefing up your familiars, you'll be hooked. Grinding can get tiresome, but it's rewarding. I'm super okay with the grind. I'm an RPG fan. So I'm used to grinding. I <laughs> I personally don't mind the grind. The biggest thing with that I've note that I no noticed with some of these newer games is they ditch the grind and so you just level up really quick and they're like, "Yeah, we're respecting the gamer." I that's fine. You don't really have to grind much in Final Fantasy 7. You don't have to grind much in Final Fantasy 16. Cool. I don't mind it. It's something that I'm used to. And so for me, it's fine. Now, if it's like Dragon Quest 1, where you grind and grind and grind, and that's like all of the gameplay, like that's all it is, and there's very little like big main story beats, then yeah, sure. That can be kind of tiresome, but I really, really don't mind grinding. So... It doesn't matter to me. Plus, grinding is easy for us to, like, chat and, like, I can do both. Not that big of a deal. Grinding is totally cool. Uh, yeah, the computer I want to build, about a couple grand. I, I really, yeah. But I like where the game rewards for doing some grinding. Yeah. Respect the grind, dude. Respect the grind, baby. Ain't that just what life's all about? So this is this way. I need to go right. See, like, it's a far walk to get there. I miss some of this in some of the more modern RPGs. They skip a lot of this travel. Now, I'm a huge fan of quick travel. Quick travel is very nice, but I... Ooh, nice. Give me another one. I don't mind, like, this feeling of, like, walking. We talking coffee? Not here. Uh, you will be getting a cup at 9 a.m. That's right. I'm grinding in life right now. Respect the grind you had in. 
I love grind. Honestly, also love RPGs. I'm hooked on Diablo 4, and it's all, all a grind. Yeah. Diablo is a different type of grind, though. Like, that grind is very, very... Um, how do I get up there? Are there things hidden in here? Well, look at that big boy. Should we try to hit, hit up that big boy? Can I even get up there? Finding deep dark wood is e easy, man. Just head north from Ding Dong Dell. Okay, well, also I have this, so... I guess it's, that's... Oh, there it is. Is there anyone... Let's, let's go hit up a couple of other... You mentioned you wanted to start a coffee shop early. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. Have I been screwing this up this whole time? Haven't I been able to do that? Yeah, Let's I will eventually go. have a coffee shop. We got. Oh, that was a good hit, dude. He got me. Grind joke. Work. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> Sure. Let's we'll see if we can just get a wrapper. Yeah, let's get you. Oh, I want to do some of this. Afternoon, all. What's up? Afternoon. We can do this. Um, a couple questions for you guys. One, have you liked the stream? And two. More grind than pepper. <laughs> uh, how you guys feeling about Nino Kuni? You guys into it still? How's it going, everyone? What's up, Ethan? We have 30 people in here, 32 people. Can we get to 30 likes? Can you? Can we do it? Tells YouTube that this is worth it, a worthwhile stream. Such a great game. I really am enjoying it. We're at 21 likes, guys. Bro, your content just hits. Ironically, I found your channel right when I myself was going through the same debate of console versus PC and handheld gaming. Yeah, great game. I want to pick it up again. I'm into the player, not the game. <laughs> Dean? Dean? You better send me some cute pics. On, you better text me some cute pics then. Some cute pics. Look at that. It's a, it's a waystone. They're useful. A waystone? Yeah, man. Ancient stones, you see? Story record of your adventure so far. In wild places like forests, so you can just plunk yourself on. Oh, there it is, dude. Fast travel. My favorite grinds are the time saving ones. Like when you're Gizmaluke's Grotto in Final Fantasy IX and you save scum your way through beating a few grand, grand dragons and breeze through the first disc. Mm. Did not know much about this game. Looks good, though. I want to play. It's fun, dude. It's fun. Oh, boy. What kind of stream did I join? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Let me check my phone and see if I got any cute pics from Dean. Nothing. No cute pics. No cute pics, dude. Dean's not sending me cute pics. <laughs> <laughs> on do not disturb so i don't know when stuff's happening because i can't i can't keep this on not do not disturb with discord because y'all talk so much um basically a waystone is a fast travel point remember you can't record pr your progress any old yes you can allow me to explain a little more waystone and your health and a magic power will be fully restored oh great and that's not all these little beauties also lets you save your progress. A traveler's best friend. Was this the only way to save back in the day? Where's your super chat button? I don't have a super chat button. So in the description, you'll see that. Is this Switch now? <laughs> in the description, you should see the tip button right there. Here, let me change that. Super, super chat through stream elements. There you go. Boom. 
It just won't, I don't hear the sound. But this, I think I have the super chat thing here. Yeah, I don't have the super chat button, but the thing is, so super chat's nice and simple, but if you do a donation through the stream elements, um, then stream elements does, I think I get all of it. I'm not sure though. So it's the reason you split the live stream out onto a different channel. Is it supposed to help with YouTube traction? Yeah. So when I streamed on my other channel, all of my videos that I spend a lot of time on making cups of coffee, talking, just looking at stuff, all of them dropped to almost 20% of the normal performance. And it was only being shown to my subscribers zero outside traction and so the second i pulled them waited a week and they're all right here boom done everything's back to normal can i pin what yeah it dude all last week all of my everything dropped so low stream elements gives you all the money it's better than using youtube super chat it gives you a portion oh sick okay so stream elements yeah if you want to do super chats do that i'm building out all the alerts too okay let's go ahead and save gives you oh cool HP and PR clearly restored. Save you. So I just don't know if the soup if I see the super chat. If someone does it, someone did it before. It just doesn't like. Let me let me go to stream elements real quick. Hold on, let me check. I need to get my like notifications to play through my headphones. Although my headphones are plugged into my TV, so there's there's a lot of stuff I got to figure out. Okay? I'm still trying to figure this all out. I'm new to all this. Dashboard. So someone donated 456 earlier. Does it say who it was? Oh yeah. So I should just keep this up. Is this live? Yeah. Cool. It was me. Yep. You can't do YouTube super chat until you are monetized, but if peeps donate, they have an option to put it in, put in a message. Sweet. Well, there you go. At the top of the description, you should see, right? Did I do it right? Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, 10, 11. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Holy cow, that's a big donation. It says, just the tip. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Take it easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take it easy now. Just the tip. You guys are a bunch of knuckleheads. Okay, so I'm going to keep that screen open so I can read. Okay, cool. I have multiple screens open. So now I can read the super chats. All super chats will be read um, regardless of what it says. Yeah. Unless it has cuss words or it's... Uh, very inappropriate, but I will, instead of a cute pick, you get the tip. <laughs> Is that you? It says it's anonymous. That was you? You dirty dog. I got it. I had to scroll though. Yeah, it's not the best. I can't, I don't know if I can pin. I think we're good. 
Just no feet. You guys are, you guys are goofy. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll keep that up so that I can read the super chats. Yeah, save. Saving. I already did that. Great. Awesome. I'll have to check it every once in a while. Feet pics are overrated. We need it. Deck You guys are ridiculous, dude. What's over here? It wants... Oh, okay. Fine. You just want me to go one way, but there's a, a path the other way. So, obviously, I'm going to RPG it and look to see what the other path has. Mr. Griffey! Wait for me! <sighs> Time. go? There. Yeah, yeah. What are we about to do here? Jeepers. Ollie boy, meet old father Oak. How do you, a leafiness? Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I got a visitor by her from another world, see? And what it is, is I was wondering if you might lend us a bit of a hand, like. Oh, I should have known. You only ever come to see me when you are in need. Sorry, you a tall ship. You know I'm always very clear. Great. This game is mm. lovely. This boy. Ah, spotted it. Did you, you bark ship? Well, well. The pure-hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to... That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. We have to get Shadar. <laughs> As reckless as ever, I see. Hey, folks. What's up, Sven? I'm going to see if I can get a leaderboard for the tips Very in well. stream elements. I'm really going to go all in with this with this uh, First, streaming stuff, guys. I give the boy a familiar, had we not? Oh, yeah. Ooh, a familiar. Clean forgot I did. He's right, dolly boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, isn't it? Familiars? Yeah, familiars. You're in our world. You can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart. See? They call Ooh. them familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only going to get bigger and meaner. So Planning on getting a deck in, hand. in May. Oh, Super oh, excited. Oh, What's oh, up, Gary? Oh, You'll have to show us your deck when you can have you really it. really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well, then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. All right. There's no spell named Form Familiar here. Wait, what? The boy is correct. Look at his wizard companion. It would seem that it's missing more than a few of its pages. Really? So does that mean I can't cast the spell? Ho, ho, ho. I'm not as powerless as all that young man. Oliver, was it? Let me see how. Now, oh, Form Familiar. Ah, yes. A gift for me to you. Look at him just dropping pages. Love it. Got the D brand kill switch case from the deck. Pretty nice. Fan of your skull and co too. Yeah, see, I wanted the D brand one, but it seems so bulky. So bulky. So <laughs> thank you very much, old father Oak. But simply possessing the page from a particular spell is no guarantee that you will be able to make use of it. Oh, okay. Some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards, such as life. Don't worry about that for now. Just give Form Familiar a go, will ya? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. Let's see what happens. Yeah! Little cutscene. That's tidy work, Ollie boy. Look at that. A warrior from your very own heart. A familiar. This is a familiar? Absolutely love this Golden Coast skin and thumb grips. Dude, it's the Glock deck. It's the Glock loadout. That was mean trip. And the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well. Glock 19X loadout, baby. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I read that. 
Yeah, dude. That's the Lodi. That's the Lodi. I right, see how this familiar works. Indeed, Ollie boy, the more the merrier, isn't it? Here, you'd better give the little fellow a name, eh? Mitty. Love it. Here we go. Spells. The first is restorative. What's all this talk about feet picks? I leave for 10 minutes and feet are discussed. You missed some good stuff. Nah, he sent me just the tip, though. That's the most useful spell there is. Wandering adventure. Cut to bruises. No hot tub. No super chat. I know, dude. We technically solved the super chat. We have the super chat still. And it's better than YouTube super chat because instead of YouTube taking 30%, stream elements gives me 100%. So we have super chat. Stream elements is letting me keep my, keep keep all the chat. So I, even when I have super chats active, I'll still encourage people to use stream elements instead as support. We're talking about sending deck picks to each other. <laughs> That's right. Uh, feed, feed, pause, do to scroll. Did I miss something? Oh, another one. Animal style, dude. Oh, can you show it again? Oh, look at it. It shows it again. And animal style. Whoa, there's more than what? What? Oh, repeated. That's why. Okay, I can make it show up again. Sweet. I missed it. Someone someone tipped anonymously. Thanks, guys. We're at 1923, so that means I'm making $10 an hour streaming. Hey, or not really. Cuz 2 hours that's like That's that's almost minimum wage, right? Almost minimum wage. <laughs> In the state of California, $25 an hour is this minimum. $20 an hour is the minimum wage? How stupid is that, dude? You want to know why it's stupid? Because now Chipotle costs like 16 bucks. That's why it's stupid. Shoot a little ball of fire, that one does. Plant-based beasties flipping hate fire mutt. Even old tree. Okay, cool. How dare you? That's insane. I know, Dean. It's ridiculous, bro. Of course not. Old Father Oak. Fireball! Careful. You might be get canceled. Get the... Oh, dude. I'm not worried about... You can't cancel me. That's the thing. If I learned anything from, from any of the people that have conquered canceling is there's one rule to not getting canceled. You don't let it happen, and you don't apologize. That's it. Simple as that. Look at look at Asmund Gold, dude. The dude just says the right things sometimes, and people are like, "We're gonna go after him," and they don't win. They don't win, and they won't win because the dude's like, "You're wrong." That guy's crazy, by the way. His house crazy. Hey, I'll still buy a thirty dollar Big Mac. It's so bad. It's good. No, I won't touch Big Mac, dude. McDonald's ain't getting a dime from me. Healing touch. Okay, so X, which is going to be this one. Okay. Spell menu. Sweet. Hey, I'll still... Yeah, I already read that. You'll have to excuse me if I don't see the tips. I'll re... I'll try to re... Uh, redo it. From okay, cool. So I can like read it. Okay, we got the spells menu up and we're good. Ooh, here comes a baddie. Uh oh. Huh? Spoiling for a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Solly boy. Huh? But what do I do? Just think what you want him to do and he'll do it. It's okay. as easy as falling off a log, man. Okay. Just think what I want him to do. Think here what we goes. want him to do. Hey, 
there's something about Azengold that I respect, but the roach crawling on him was a bit much. Let's do it. Okay, first off, you got to pick who's going to fight out of you and your little friend. Cool, and now try to send him into the fray, shall we? How much longer he can fight for. The longer you keep him in the go, the shorter his stamina gauge will get. When it's empty, it means the poor lad's so tired he can't fight anymore. Tragic, eh? So before you have to call before that happens, you have to call him back for a bit. Sign. Okay, okay. Yeah, I get it. Sort of a star sign, except there's only four of them. Sun, moon, star, okay. Different ones get on better. Ones get on better. You can use that to help you in battle. About tricks. Just like spells, they cost MP to use. You can see the cost. Oh, okay. I've been playing OG Final Fantasy VII, working on my way through the game. One of my biggest surprises with how much more I connect with Barrett now than my father and how much I don't connect with Cloud. Dude! Yeah, baby. Not even large fries with that $20 Big Mike medium. <laughs> yeah. It's a problem. It's a problem. What you've got to remember is that you and your familiars share MP and HP. So if familiar uses a trick, it takes a big hit. Crack is a long old lesson, eh? Right, let's finish with what top tip is. You'll need to swap with him regularly. You can press LB in it. Now I'm going to stop talking before. Okay, it's your turn to sing. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, 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 okay. If I swap. Oh, and that's cool. Spells? What spells do we have? Healing touch, fireball. Let's see what happens with fireball. Oh, smackdown, baby. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's normal. My... Wait, what? Does anyone in the deck not fully charge? No, mine's 99. It doesn't fully charge. So now you know how to fight with a familiar, right? Okay. To be a true contender, you'll need to learn when to let your... Okay. I like it. I like the familiar thing. That's kind of cool. I'm second 96. I think mine's 99. Treats. Nice. All kinds of treats to choose from. Some will improve your other abilities and their ones. It's basically like Pokemon. Does that conserve battery life? Oh, okay. Guys, it's a cold day today where I live. I love it. In it. All right, the creature gauge. Got it. I promise to look after him real well, Drippy. Nice. Guys, we're at 22 likes. Can we get to 30? Some new people in here. Got to get eight more. We can do it. We can do it. There's a gauge down in Ding Dong Dell, and he's brokenhearted. See? Brokenhearted, you say? Shatter's evil spreads still further, so you will be needing it. That we will, your okitude. What's Fen? Oh, I already read that. What's Fen says? <laughs> They're quick, you are. You have still got it, didn't you? All right, I'm back. Went to make a coffee. Oh, nice. Oh, patience, young drippy, of course. I have. Let me see now. Hmm, I know. Here's something. Cracky, you've got... Lost it? Insolence. Put it away safely among my uttermost branches. It's just a little tangled up in here. That's all. Seek it out. I have a favor to ask of you. Whoa, I didn't mention it. Flipping hurry. So he's going to ask me. 
Let's go help old Father Oak. I already had my coffee. You guys drinking coffee this morning? What are you guys drinking? What kind of coffee? Any other MCT oil coffee, guys? It's guardian of these woods, you see? The guardian, eh? What's up with the old fellow? I'm afraid he has become rather unruly of late, and he is neglecting his duties. We better go help him out. He sounds kind of tough. Trader Joe's. Which one, Trader Joe's? Black Rifle Coffee? Beyond Black? Okay. I need that 4%, though. You still have it. It's just not letting you overcharge your device. If you're going to take down Shader, Shadar, you can't back out a bit of light Guardian base, okay? Okay, I'll do it. Beyond Whispering Waterfalls. Great little bow. You changed the channel name? Yes, it is Julian Melnick 2 because JD Coffee was having an issue with search engine optimization. Black and white coffee this morning. Can't remember the rest. Are you going to play the sequel too? Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know how much of stream this will, will, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Everything is kind of an ebb and flow. The main focus, the main star here is the Steam Deck. It's a piece of cake, man. Now listen up. If you look at the main menu, you'll see friends and familiars. That's where you'll find all sorts of details about you and your familiar's abilities. It looks compl complicated, and there are a few, very few options kicking about here, to be fair, but you'll soon get the hang of it. Now you're still the wizarding lark, so there's a limit to what you can do. Keep fighting monsters leveling up. You'll probably make some new mates before long, and also... Okay, cool. Nice. Can't remember, but it has a toucan on it. It's a pretty good roast. Oh, okay. Sweet. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I have to use the restroom. Drink a lot of water. All right, back at it. I bet viewership is impacted by the game choice, honestly. Maybe. It, well, like, kind of. Only kind of. Because the viewership here is pretty heavily uh, impacted by the other channel. Most of the people here are members are, are from the other channel. I know I could play something like Hell Divers and it do better, maybe, and maybe that will happen. I don't know, but I have to want to play the game. The problem with me, actually, let's get to this thing. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, hey, let's chew some pie, buddy. Oh man, I like this. Let's get you another one. Oh, cool. Coffee after BJJ last night. Still passed out. Right on. Just do you, brother. Yeah. What's up? What's up, Nasabo? Um, I think, honestly, and then where are we at right now? Yeah, we can just hang out now. Um, let's do that. Let's hang out and let's chat while I finish this up. We only had a little bit of gameplay today because we had such a good time talking. We're going to go ahead and I'll save... Because I believe you can just save whenever you want. 
right? Can I not save whenever I want? Oh, great. Oh, good lord. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get the let me save real quick. Uh, I need to turn back. I'm off to save, dude. Because now I have to do these silly save progress things. Saving completed. Great. Okay. Cool. Now we can hang out. Um, let's go ahead and switch this over. So we can have a conversation. Kind of talk to you guys about my thoughts on what I want to do here. I think we should be good. First off, how much better is it to have someone standing than sitting? I think that standing's better. I don't know if I could do this for like eight hours, but I don't stream for eight hours. I only stream for two, so. Oh. Ooh. Coffee doesn't wake me up, just evens me out. So I just recently um, changed the way that I decide to ingest my coffee. Decide when to ingest my coffee, I guess is a better way of putting it. That sounds real weird. I, um, I only will have coffee if I've been awake already for an hour. So I wake up at 4.30 and then I immediately have a uh lmnt or element it's like salt packet basically with electrolytes and then i have two scoops of collagen in that lemon flavored um you look a bit rested you don't look like you're melting um it's the lighting my lighting i use is not the best lighting choice for my face i can make it look like i'm melting you don't see it uh you're getting into coffee it and I'm, oh god no no i wake up and i'll do water um oh thank you monster inc for subscribing to the channel oh so now i can see it up there so i could i can see it what flavor element uh i do watermelon i like watermelon it's good the grapefruit one's good too but so i'll do watermelon with two scoops of lemon flavored um collagen so like 20 grams of collagen protein and I'll drink that. And then, so that's in a 24 ounce shaker and then I'll fill it completely up again and I'll drink that. So I'll have 48 ounces of water essentially before I have um, my coffee and then I'll make my coffee and I'll enjoy it. But my first coffee is actually um, Nespresso and that's gonna be with um, MCT oil in it let's get some of those medium chain triglycerides um and then after that happens then i'll be kind of good ripping roaring and then i'll make my like special tea coffee sometime later like an hour, like a few hours later when i do the cups and that's that's kind of my little morning thing i do right now and it's helped because i have decreased the amount of time i sleep <laughs> because of doing these. Um, yeah, but also before bed, I don't play any more video games. Do they make Nespresso with that or you add that? I make Nespresso, I just use the Nespresso machine. I just, I have MCT oil I use. It's bubs, it's a powder, which I like. I was doing the warm water lemon salt for a while, but got out of it need to get back into it need that salt back in my life yeah dude that's great man proper hydration is not a, a very important thing in the morning it is and yes that is something i got from huberman because i listened to that dude and his science now he doesn't always have the you know some of the stuff and he, he'll be the first to say it, he's trying it's not like oh this is proven but he tries it because of data that he's looked into i've noticed that in doing the water and salt first staying fasted for a few the first few hours of my morning right i don't have a fast schedule i'm not like seven to ten i just don't eat for the first few hours of waking um like three or four hours of waking uh 
I have more sustained energy personally. So I go to bed around nine and in bed, I'll, now that we moved our son out of our room, I can like stay up and read. Um, and so I'll read right now. I'm reading through Sandland, but I'll read a book, um, a sto- whatever. And then no, the phone's not, in the, nothing's in the room. Nothing's in the room. So, uh, yeah. And I, I won't touch, I won't touch, uh, video games or TV an hour before bed. And that's kind of, I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the best balance because I go to bed between nine and 10, around 10 usually, and then wake up at four 30. I start the day with a cup of warm water. I move onto my coffee with collagen around 10 AM then water until my second cup of coffee, water rest of the day. I only drink water. I don't drink pop. I don't drink anything. I only drink water. Mm. That's not true. So other than coffee, obviously, but I also drink iced tea, unsweetened iced tea that I make myself. I would say that like 90 to 95% of the stuff I ingest, I make myself. I want to know more about the carnivore diet. I've heard good things, but I'm typical fad diet consumer. I'm not a typical. So here's my deal with the carnivore diet, because I've studied all sorts of diets being in the fitness industry. The carnivore diet is a good prescription for individuals who have severe um, chronic, right? Like autoimmune diseases. You can find some success in it. I don't think the carnivore diet is something that people should experience, should, um, should pursue exclusively if there is no reason for them to pursue it. Does that make sense? I don't think so. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, I, I believe that there is a lot of benefits. There are benefits for, for sure. But I think that the benefits are there for individuals who need that because the trade-off is pretty high too. I don't think everyone should try, should do the, uh, trying something is one thing, but doing it for sustained long, I don't think it's necessarily the best decision. I am a very, very huge advocate for the paleo diet. That is my style of eating. That's how I uh, consume food for the most part, with the exception of a couple things here and there, like I'll have in and out from time to time or whatever. But I, I, I stick to a paleo style. So meats, vegetables, fruit, um, nuts, seeds, berries, uh, starch, right? I don't do the little starch, I do starch. So I have sweet potatoes with almost every meal for my carbohydrates, increased carbohydrates, you know? Um, no sugar, no refined sugars, right? So I'm not doing table sugar or whatever, stuff like that. Um, and going from there and the, the biggest thing that I've noticed over these past couple of years with the increase of price for food is the increase of price for food is for packaged foods. Sure. Some stuff has gone up, but like meat, vegetables, and fruit has stayed relatively the same, relatively berries have gone up pretty heavily relatively the same over these past few years. And if you just stick to that, it increases the amount of work you have to do to get food, but it also decreases the cost of food, but also increases the quality. And so I stick to just that. Uh, I wish I could be an early morning person. I have never been able to sleep at night since I was preteen. I never have been a functioning morning person. There are things you can do to change that. One is exercise heavily. Make sure your day is filled with exercise. Two is uh, decrease the amount of technology you interact with one to two hours before you go to bed. And three is lower the um, overall uh, temperature of your lights in your home. Make the home darker. I have a disease that makes me allergic to all mammal products. Not fun. Been more plant-based with chicken and fish, but none of the good stuff. I wonder what that is. Drink coffee late. Not often, but I do. Last night was a time. 
I just, I just don't switch. I dropped my Steam Deck on my face a few weeks ago. I got so mad. <laughs> I wish I could be an early. Yeah, no, Sabo. It, honestly, um, every so people are like, I'm not an early person. I'm a, I'm a night, a night owl. I believe that being an early, I don't think that anybody's an early person. If I'm being honest, I th believe it's a learned behavior. I've been doing this for well over a decade because I worked in coffee shops and at gyms where I would open the gym. Um, yeah, got alpha gal syndrome, got bitten by a tick. Interesting. I wonder why that changes. The ch so it changes your genetic buildup. It's affected you. It's affected your, your genetic. Hey, that's crazy. But you can eat chicken and fish. You just can't eat red meat. Is that what I'm understanding? Chicken and fish have a lot of nutrients in it. I'm a, yeah. Like Lyme disease has a lot of other side effects. Oh, interesting. I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell you much. I can just tell you what works for me and I eat paleo. The reason why I stick to paleo is because it is the easiest diet. Well, eating structure. I wouldn't consider it a diet anymore because it's my everyday. Going to read up on that. Interesting. I've done extensive research on Lyme disease. Mm. I can't necessarily suggest anything. Yeah. Ticks can cause a lot, of, a lot of issues. They can. They can. Fortunately for me, I don't have a lot. We don't have a lot out here. Yes. And all mammal products like gelatin and dairy byproducts. Ma mammal? Interesting that it would be a specific breed, like a, a, a full... Is that would mammals be considered the genome? No, it's not a genome. Species? Oh, it's later. What's before species? Is it species? I'm on the seafood diet, Ethan. Ethan. Easy. Easy. I know what you're doing. I like it. I like it a lot. I see what you're doing, though. I had Lyme disease and it was a year. Like that's why, dude. You get it just from being bit. I see food, I eat it. There. <sighs> Ethan, I want to be mad at you. I want to. I can't though. It's a good joke every time. And now the body breaks them. Oh, okay, has to do with sugar in the mammal. The body cannot digest or break down. Interesting. Bizarre. So what did we learn today? Don't get bitten by ticks. Be careful of tall grass in the south. Where do you, I mean, if you feel comfortable, wh like what, where do you live? You don't have to say you're like, exactly. I guess ticks are everywhere, but. Don't go in tall grass, yeah. Pennsylvania. All right, the sticks. <laughs> Happens. Happens. Ticks are awful. Already out down here in North Carolina. It's not just the South. We have them in droves here in the Great White North. Called then Lone Star Ticks. Yeah, we got a lot of ticks in the Northeast. Interesting. Well... California, I'm sure we have them too, but us urban folk, we don't see much of them. When golfing last summer, hit my ball into the tall stuff, came out with three ticks drawing up my leg. Oh. Makes you allergic to the protein, I believe. Oh, okay. Ticks all over California too. I got bit by a tick when I was a dog groomer. Oh, interesting. In Germany, they're, they're everywhere in high grass. So what, what's the, what's the thing we do? We just take flamethrowers to the high grass, right? See, this is the thing. We're all about saving the planet. I think we set the whole thing on fire to get rid of ticks and mosquitoes, and then we're safe, right? This is logical. That's the way to do it. I think that's the way to do it. So what we learned today is a few things. One, if you get bit by a tick, you can no longer eat hamburgers. That's a bad thing. So where do ticks live? 
tall grass. Okay. What do we do with tall grass? We burn it. Because the best way to get rid of ticks is by burning them. Solid. So, I suggest if you see grass anything taller than, let's say, an inch, maybe two, we burn it. We burn it. That's, that's what we do. That's how we save the world. We save the world by lighting it on fire. I think we're close. Maybe that's why all the wars are happening, because they're just trying to get rid of ticks. California wildfire spurred by coffee maniac. <laughs> just trying to save the world by setting it on fire. <laughs> Just trying to save the world by setting it on fire. Possums eat tons of ticks. It's their main diet. I'm scared of a tick. If a tick bites me and I'm a tick. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Have you guys ever watched the show The Tick? That is one of the funniest old. Like, that, there's not that old, but it's so funny. So funny. Chickens and possums. So then we get rid of all the other animals too. So no more dogs because dogs have ticks. So we can't have dogs anymore. Now we switch to just chickens and possums. Light the world on fire. Have chickens and possums as pets. This sounds like a really, really safe place to be. I like it. I like it. Build some Mako reactors. Now we're getting somewhere. We suck the lifeblood of the earth to light it on fire. I like where you're going. Because if we all live on concrete and metal, we want, you know what we should do? We should actually build, like it's easier if it's in a circle, like a plate. You know what? We build this thing that's above the ground and we live on that. Everything underneath is kind of scummy or slummy. So we just leave that down there. We'll just call it whatever, the slums. We'll be up on top and we'll just have, we're up there. That's what we do. We have this plate and we, all of the energy we pull, there's a lot of stuff. We just distill all of the, the energy from the earth into like a reactor. How do you guys feel about that? I think that should be good. Right? That should be good, right? I think so. It's a good, that's a good solution. Until the animals decide to try and cross the road. <laughs> That's really funny because there's there's jokes about chickens crossing the road, but also possums can't get across. <laughs> this sounds like hell divers too. Eagle are awaiting a possum simulator for the Steam Deck. You want me to show you what it looks like? Let me show you what a, a possum uh, simulator looks like. Ready? Hey, how's it going, guys? How you doing? That's Possum Simulator. I just I just showed you what Possum Simulator looks like. Oh man, this has gotten this has gotten real weird. <laughs> well, happy morning to all of you. I got to. Uh, Help my family get going today. Thank you for all of the uh, donations. Um, $19.23 from three tips today. Thank you so much. The donations that we had uh, were from Devo Frick, which is GG's boss man. Uh, we got Anonymous, which I believe that's four, four, five, six from them. 1011 from just the, from, I believe that was Dean, just the tip. Uh, and then animal style from someone else and now two anonymous donos. So thank you so much. That's, uh, that's grocery money, all that, you know, thank you. This is awesome. Appreciative. Appreciate that you guys would go out of your way to click on the donation button, hit a donation. Um, that means a ton. Thanks for all the new subscribers today. If I, if I could ask, um, a couple things of you. So we're trying again, we're trying to get to monetization. If Either you or someone else could go and watch a previous stream or this stream 
um, just let it go from start to finish and then let it go to a next one just while you're working or something. If you don't mind having this open in a browser on mute, something like that, that helps me a ton. Um, hopefully, you know, we can get to the desired watch hours. It's, it's good stuff. Um, other than that, you guys join the discord. You can get that on my main channel. A uh, new cup goes up live at nine and uh, the schedule here is Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. We will be having fun and we will be playing video games and talking about lighting the world on fire and having possums and chickens as our pets. Ooh, today got weird. <laughs> you guys enjoy the rest of your day and uh, happy morning to all of you. And um, yeah, as always, happy gaming.